With the Salt Lake Marathon just a little over two months away and Ogden not too far behind, runners are picking up the pace. Some athletes may be slowing down, though, due to knee, hip, or foot pain. But Intermountain Medical's Tosh Clinic is finding an answer that many runners need to get back on the pavement. Mary Nichols explains how it all works in tonight's Check Your Health Report. So everything we do is the resolution is much higher. Uh, we can look at things in much more detail. A state-of-the-art running lab. From visit one, you're going to see some changes. The Tosh Human Performance Clinic uses eight different cameras to get a detailed, specific look at each runner. Running is a skill. There are people that it looks easy for, and then there are people that look like they're working. Dr. James Walker teaches that skill and fine tunes those looking to hit a new PR. Everybody is built differently. Everybody has a different, you know, makeup. So you need to run what's natural for you, and then maximize your ability within that. Even breathing is taken into account. We actually have a, a system where we can supplement Implement the oxygen while you're doing interval training on the treadmill and simulate sea level intensity so you can get the most of, best of both worlds. More than 13,000 runners are expected at the start here in Salt Lake. 60% of those training will experience some type of injury. We work with runners of all different skill level and whether they're competitive, recreational, just doing this for fun and for fitness, we can help anybody. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. Okay, some of the most common injuries are dealing with an IT band strain, shin splints, or a muscle pull, but most of these can be fixed by a simple change in your running technique.